Hi everyone, my name is Lacey and I have my three month old Ezio here. We're also joined by my two year old Aira who's down there drawing. And we're bringing you another class today that is focused on breath work. So you again don't need much prop wise. I would just say have a yoga mat and if you are baby wearing, of course, make sure they are snug in their carrier. That's about it for today. We'll get started. See you on your mat. a lot about breathing. Do you remember how to breathe? Do you remember how you breathe in through your nose and out through your nose? No? Let's try a different kind of breathing today called humming breath. So, to do humming breath, when you breathe out it's almost like the sound of a bee buzzing. So you can either hum like you're singing a song or go So either or whichever you prefer. Just add a little bit of noise to our breath today. So we'll try it together. Breathe in with me, Aira. And when you exhale, change how we feel in our body. If we breathe really fast, 
we might feel anxious. And then if we breathe really slow, we might feel calm. So we can change how we breathe if we want to change how we feel. So Miss Sarah, do you remember, remember when we did balloon breath? Yeah, do you remember that? Yeah. We're gonna do that again. So come on and stand up for me. We're gonna make a whole body of balloon. So we're gonna, with the breath in, we're gonna expand our arms and expand our legs like this. And with the breath out, remember the balloon deflates. Like that. Breathe in. And breathe out. We can try it faster. What happens if we breathe faster? Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in really fast. And breathe out really fast. And breathe in really fast. And breathe out really fast. Wait. That was too fast. Let's try breathing really slow now. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe no. out. Slow breathing. So I want you to think about your breath when we're going on safari today. Okay, so let's start on our safari. What do we need to go on safari? We need a hat because it's really sunny out. So put your hat on. We need what else do we need? We need sunglasses. Do you have your sunglasses? Um, this eye. Yeah, put your sunglasses on. Do we need our, our boots? Yeah. yeah, put your boots on and get your backpack. Pack all your snacks. Backpack. Yeah, pack your snacks. And then let's get into the safari van. And let's drive out to Africa. Ready? Take your binoculars. What do you see? I see an elephant. Do you know what elephants do? Huh? You know elephants have long trunks? Look, I have a trunk like this. I see an elephant over there. Do you know how it breathes? When it breathes in, it, it goes, and when it breathes out, it goes, you want to try it? Breathe in. Elephant breath out. With your trunk. Breathe in. Elephant breath. Like that. Did you try it? And there's an elephant right here too. Do you want to hold the elephant? Yeah. Breathe in. Breathe out. Like that. Breathe in. And out. Pick up your binoculars. Look through them and what do you see next? I see a lion. I see a lion over there. Do you see it? Yeah. Yeah? Do you know what lions say? Yeah. Right, we're going to do lion breath next. We're going to do lion breath. We're going to stand on our nice tall mountain. Do you remember how to stand on a mountain? Yeah. Do this one. So that's two feet on the ground, nice and tall. And do you know how to do lion breath? You roar out. You stick your tongue out like this. And you can do lion's mane too with your hands like this. Pretend you have a mane on your head, all that fur around the, around the face. Yeah. Breathe in. Roar out. Lion, breathe in. Lion, breath out. You can have paws now with claws. Look at this. Breathe in. Take your claws now. Breathe in. Lion's breath out. Stick out those claws. Stick out the tongue. Breathe in. I see a shadow in there. I see a shadow in there. You see a shadow in there? Oh my 
my goodness, the lion, it was roaring and it was breathing and it was sticking its tongue out and it scared away a frog. Do you remember what frogs say? Ribbit. They ribbit. So let's do a little froggy. Remember how to do the froggy hops? Yeah. Yeah. Down really low. And I'll just do little ones because I'm with baby. And you ribbit. 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 That was so fun. Ribbit. Well, that was so much fun. So you see the frog. And then what do you see next to the frog? The frog is in a pond. The frog is in a pond. It jumps away from the lion and into the pond. And do you know what else is in the pond? Some rocks. Do you remember how to do rock bowls? Yeah? Show mommy. Show mommy how you do your rock bowls. Here. We'll take baby brother out to show you. Here, mister. Let's see if you can come out. I'll set baby down for a minute. Ooh, baby. Set him down. On a little thing. Okay. Hi, baby. Hi, Mr. Ezio. So let me tell you what we do. So the frog it got scared by the lion, it hopped into a pond. And what was in the pond? A rock. So I'm going to be a rock now. Here with baby down here. Okay, enough being a rock. Let's go out of the pond and what do we see? We see a peacock in a field full of flowers. The peacock is so lovely. Have you ever seen a peacock before? Yeah. Yeah? Peacocks have really long, long feathers. And we can pretend our legs are these long feathers and stick them out like this. Yeah. Now we're doing the peacock. So reach your feathers up to the sky. And then you can fold down over your other feathers like this, walking your hands forward. Etsy is gonna walk forward. Etsy is my feathers. So look at that peacock and keep breathing here. You're a what? You're jumping. Peacocks need air to breathe, so keep breathing. Good breathing, mister. Do you know what else is in that field full of flowers? There's a peacock. There are also turtles on the ground crawling around in their little shells. And to do turtle, you can bend your knees, bend your peacock feathers, and then you can reach your arms back from your bottom. So with your knees bent, so we're making this little shell with our backs. So pretend you have this shell on your back. So you're going to stick both of your arms through your legs. I'm just holding on to Mr. Ezio here. He likes to stand. And we're going to round our back like we have a big turtle shell behind us. Do you like turtles? Turtles don't really say much, but they crawl and they breathe too. And then what else do we see in that field full of flowers? Do you know what kind of what kind of animals or insects like flowers? Butterflies do. <gasps> Ooh. Do you know how to do butterfly? You touch your soles of your feet together and you take your knees out. And so you're making these butterfly wings on your legs and you can just flap, 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 flap the wings. Flap, 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 flap. Yeah, make your butterfly wings and flap, flap, flap. Can you make butterfly wings with your legs? Flap, 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 flap. Flap, 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 flap. Like that. And finally, and finally, we want to smell those beautiful flowers we find in this African field. So to do flower, you take your butterfly legs and you lift them into the air. You can pretend your feet are the flower and take those flowers to your nose and smell them. 
Stinky. Can you try smelling your feet? Yeah, so keep your feet together like this. Yeah, so like you're in butterfly, and then lift your feet up, and then smell your feet. Smell your real feet. Ew, stinky! <laughs> your flowers are stinky. Try it again. Smell your little feet. Your little flowers on your feet. Ew, stinky! Are your flowers stinky? Yes. Yeah. yeah, they're stinky? Yeah. Let's do flower breath. Yeah. You know how to do flower breath? Yeah. You take a flower with your hands like this. Let's make a flower with our hands. Breathe it in. Okay. Ah. So you take this flower with your hands. Take a flower with your hands and breathe it in. Ah. That one smells really good.
Look, it's a little lizard, and he's going to be crawling under the mommy rock. So mommy's the rock. Wow. And Ezio is the little lizard. Excuse me. Hi. Hi, little lizard. Hi, little lizard. He's talking to us. Did you hear that? Yeah. Ow. Oh, we love you. We love you, little lizard. You want my mommy? You do. Hi. Hi. Listen. Listen to him. The little lizard is talking to us. to crawl under the mummy rock. So now he's just laying there, sleeping, and now he's gonna turn over and start crawling under the mummy rock. Watch this. <gasps> he's crawling under the mummy rock. Look at that. Look at that. You're gonna be a lizard too? With baby brother? I'm gonna be a big lizard. You're gonna be a big lizard and he's gonna be a little one? Wow, he's such a cute little lizard, isn't he? He's so cute. Want a gingerbread? You want a gingerbread? Yes. You're so Daddy? Downstairs. Want a jam? Now, while baby is crawling, while baby is doing tummy time and crawling, do you want to do a little bit of Shavasana? Yeah. Yeah. Where should we do Shavasana? Sitting up or should we lay down and do Shavasana? How about I'm going to do a sideline Shavasana right next to my little lizard. Yeah, until he's done crawling. So I'm gonna, just going to take this under my ear, a little, a little blanket under my ear. Let me just put my hand there for him. And let's close our eyes. I'm going to take a little nap. And we're just going to imagine, remember how we went on safari today? Yeah. We're going to imagine that we're going to a really, really special place. What's your favorite place to go to? Hmm? Do you want to imagine that you are on safari somewhere? Where is your blankie? So imagine, imagine you're on safari again. Imagine you're surrounded by a bunch of beautiful mountains all around you. Imagine you see all these animals around you, lions and tigers and elephants and peacocks and monkeys too. And the frogs and the turtles. Imagine a field with butterflies and flowers. And then just imagine every detail you can so that you can and what? And, and share. Yeah. So imagine everything you can about this special place so that you can recreate it if you want to. So we're just going to take, Miss Ava, we're just going to take a minute here to close our eyes and picture our special place. Just imagine feeling the breath and noticing how we feel in our special place and noticing how the breath feels. humming breath. Remember that that humming or that bumblebee breath we did at the beginning? Let's do it again. Notice how you feel now compared to the beginning. 
So you breathe in and you hum out. feel much. So what did you learn today? Did you learn? Can you tell me how you might breathe if you want to feel more energy? Can you imagine the type of breath you might need for that? No. You might breathe faster if you want to feel more energetic. <laughs> like that. How would you breathe if you want to feel calm or if you want to fall asleep? No, no, no. You might breathe slow. What? You might breathe slow for that. No, no, no. And so today in our practice, we also went to our special place. So do you want to draw a picture yeah. of your special place? Yeah. Yeah. Your special place on safari. I have all these colors here. So we can draw, maybe we can draw our safari. That special place we went to on safari with the lions and the tigers and the elephants. And monkeys. And monkeys and mountains and, and fields of flowers with butterflies. We can draw all of that. But before we do, so we'll do that as our last thing, but before we do, we'll just draw our cards from the deck we have. The parent deck and we have the kids deck. So before you pick up your colors, we'll just have that be our final thing. Before you pick up your colors, why don't you pick out a card? And I'll read one too. Ooh, I picked a good one. You wanna read that one? Okay, let's see what it says. Okay, this one from the kids deck, the kids affirmation, it says, hmm, I ask adults for help when there is a problem I can't solve myself. So if if you wanted to color and you couldn't find the crayons anywhere, you could always ask mommy. Yeah, just one for today. And then mommy's says patience. Mommy's card, the parenting card, is all about patience. It says, hitting or lashing out shows me that it's time to leave or take a break. My child may be trying to show me I am exhausted or overstimulated or looking for boundaries. I am compassionate yet firm and remind them of our values and how we communicate. Hmm. That's a really good one. Patience is something that I always want more of. A lion, you found one that goes with our safari theme today. Okay, this is the last one we'll read. Where's the elephant and lion? The lion, oh, this one is great. It says, I am proud of my work ethic. I take pride in all I do. Wow, that's so cool. That's a lion. That's a lion. We'll leave that as our last one. You found it. That looks great. Okay. So now the last thing we'll do, we'll just draw our special place and then we'll tidy up. Let's draw. Let's draw a special place with the mountains. Here's the mountain. That's a mountain. That looks really good. What else was there? The field full of flowers. Okay, thank you so much for joining us for our class today. So glad that Mr. Ezio was able to join in a little bit too today. Uh, if you have questions or comments, let me know. Let me know what you liked, what you went more of, and I'd love to hear from all of you. All right.
See you soon.